Veuillez vous lever. President, please be seated. President, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is back in session. Today, the chamber will continue hearing the witness from Sarat. And there is a reserve. Witness 2 TCW 889, said the President. Mr. Am Hoy, please make a report concerning the attendance of parties to today's proceeding. Greffier. Mr. President, for today's proceeding, all parties to this case are present. Mr. Nguyen Chia is present in the holding cell downstairs. He has waived his right to be present in the courtroom. The waiver has been delivered to the greffier. A witness who is to conclude the testimony Today is uh, Mr. Brumsara, and he is here together with the duty council. Today, there is a reserve witness as well, 2CCW849. Witness, confirm, witness confirms that to the best of his knowledge, he has no relationship by blood or by law to any of the two accused, Nunji and Kyosumpon, or to any of the civil parties admitted in this case. The witness will take a note before the ironclad club statue this morning. Thank you, Mr. President. President, thank you, Mr. M. Hoy. The chamber now decides on the request by Nguyen Chia. The chamber has received a waiver from Nguyen Chia, dated 26 January 2016, which states that due to his health, headache, back pain, he cannot sit or concentrate for long. And in order to effectively participate in future hearings, he requests to waive his rights to participate in and be present at the 26 January 2016 hearing. Having seen the medical report of Nguyen Chia by the duty doctor for the accused at the ECCC dated 26 January 2016, which notes that Nguyen Chia has back pain, has chronic back pain he, when he sits for long and recommends that the chamber grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 81.5 of the ECCC internal rules, the chamber grants Nguyen Chia his request to follow today's proceeding remotely from the holding cell downstairs via video visual means. AV unit personnel are instructed to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that he can follow the proceedings. This applies to the whole day. The chamber now gives the floor to the defense team for Mr. Nguyen Chia to resume his questioning. You have the floor now, counsel. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, good morning, Your Honors. Good morning, counsel. And good morning, Mr. Witness. Um, Mr. Witness, before I will ask you questions about um, the territorial um, waters of Democratic Kampuchea, let me briefly revisit um, the topic that we discussed yesterday, just before we, um, we stopped our uh, hearing. Um, yesterday, you spoke about uh, 700 Eastern soldiers in Division uh, 164. Uh, in your WRI, in the um, question and answer A166, uh, uh, you speak about a colleague of yours uh, who was in Division 164. Um, you, ref you, you, you refer to him as Chin, Chin 
who now lives near your home in Samlaut. Uh, do you remember talking about Jean, uh, former Division 164 colleague living close to Samlaut? Answer. Chien is now Réponse. living close to Chien my house in Samlod. He was Maintenant. a former soldier within my company. He is now living. Au sein de ma compagnie. Was he from the, the east or was he from the southwest? Question venait-il no, du sud-ouest, de la zone sud-ouest ou de la zone est d'origine? Answer. He was from the east. Réponse de l'est. He was from the east. Il était de l'est. Um, do you remember that at Question. one point in time, uh, Chin was Chine sent to the construction site at Kampong Chinang Airport? Answer. Later, I met him. Réponse. He Plus tard, je told me he went to he had uh, been to perform his new duties at the new construction site at Kampong Chinang Airport. He reiterated that he regrets uh, having no contact with me d'avoir perdu le contact Since avec moi he had a close relationship with me puisque nous in avions the period. une relation étroite à cette époque. And he told me that he did not know at the time where I was sent to or where he was sent to when he received the new assignment. Was he um, just one of the 700 East Zone soldiers who were sent to Kapong Chinang, or do you know whether there were other East Zone soldiers who had been sent to work at Kapong Chinang Airfield? Answer. On this issue, Chien did not clarify that point uh, to me. He did not uh, tell me who went together with him. When I met him, he uh, did not tell me who uh, were with him. And he is still alive today, correct? Answer. He is alive now today. Uh, thank you, um, Mr. Witness. Now let me move on to uh, the territorial sea of Democratic Kampuchea uh, between 76 or 75 and 79. Um, let me start with an open and general question. Um, do you remember um, what would happen in those years if um, boats uh, would enter the territorial waters of Democratic Kampuchea or would come close to one of the islands, such as Pulawai, what would happen uh, to the people on board of those boats? Answer to my recollection. From 1975 to 1978, territorial seawater of Cambodia was based on Cambodia's map. And uh, I cannot say now today's. Uh, which territory uh, was under the Democratic Kampuchea at the time, unless I had uh, the map si in hand, I could uh, tell you the territory of uh, the country at the time. I could not tell you how far the territory of seawater in Cambodia reached at the time. Pulawai, Pulawai, Rongsan Lam, 
Tang and Ses Islands uh, were within the territory of Cambodia. And among them, Pula Pang Zong or Krochok Ses Island was the island which was far away from the, the uh, territory. Uh, thank you. Mr. Witness, let me be more specific. Uh, what would happen um, Merci, Témoin. Je vais être plus if boats si would les enter the territorial sea of Democratic Kampuchea and in those boats would be um, people of Vietnamese si origin, bateaux, il y avait um, des gens be it refugees, refugees de be it uh, fishermen, ou or be it uh, soldiers. Ou encore de Can you tell us what would happen to these people on board of these boats once having entered the territorial sea of Democratic Kampuchea. Answer. I would like to tell the court clearly uh, that dire très clairement à la chambre, at the beginning of 1975, De 1975, there was a hot battlefield within the territory, territorial sea water between the Vietnamese and Cambodian troops. Entre les troupes vietnamiennes et Soldiers Cambodian. of uh, the Democratic Kampuchea in old and new Polowai Island were arrested de and placed on a Kotral or Troll Island. De de Later Troll. on, the clashes, the clash or fighting ended. I cannot recall the date of when the fighting ended. What I can say is that it ended in late 1975. Um, th thank you for that answer. Let me first focus on um, Vietnamese refugees, refugees for Vietnamese fishermen. If they would be on a boat and si enter the territorial sea, what were the instructions um, to do with these people? Que -vous faire de ces personnes? Answer. Regarding the fishing boats or any are the kind of boats uh, which uh, entered the territorial, territorial sea of the military. I could not tell you about the issue since I was not stationed on the islands themselves. I was uh, asked to give training at Ochotil Port. So it was beyond my responsibility to be stationed on those islands. Um, let, let me see if I can assist you uh, a bit in your memory and uh, also in the interest of time. Uh, let me turn to um, your statement to DC CAM uh, E3 slash 9113 to uh, two different pages. Um, first page in English here and 0097206 Khmer 00926384. No French. Uh, on this particular page uh, of your statement, you said. Um, you were talking about the Vietnamese soldiers first. We arrested and interrogated them. We released the refugees. If they did not answer our questions and try to hide their identity, we would send them to our security office. And a bit further, on English page, UN 00974222, Khmer 00926399, um, you're talking about the Vietnamese refugees or the Vietnamese fishermen, and then you say the following, we were instructed 
Nous avions reçu l'ordre de ne pas arrêter les civils. We could arrest them for Nous investigation, les arrêter check whether they were really refugees or not. Détaillée, um, si oui if they non, wanted to leave safely, we, we could si let them go, partir, and we were sometimes willing to send food supplies sauf, to them. Nous les laisser partir et parfois on uh, nous demandait de leur donner des, des, uh, de leur donner des, des provisions. Est-ce que, Monsieur le témoin, cela vous rafraîchit la mémoire? Answer on this particular issue. Réponse à ce propos. Sujet de cette question spécifique. I have told Long Dani when I was interviewed in the rice field. J'ai dit cela à Long Dani lorsque j'ai été interrogé dans la rizière. Although this was the case. I want to clarify for the court that I Cependant, gave statements uh, to Long Dani during which there was a audio recording. À la chambre que j'ai fait mes déclarations but, but are et you que ces déclarations ont été enregistrées. Um, now in court what I just read out to you. Maître Coppe, est-ce que vous confirmez à présent devant la chambre correct? ce que je viens de vous lire Est-ce là bien ce que vous avez dit et est-ce que ce que vous avez dit est correct Est exact Answer yes, that is correct. Réponse oui, c'est exact. Um, let me elaborate a bit further on this Question. very uh, topic and je vais approfondir um, read to you something um, et je vais vous lire uh, another company uh, uh, commander of division 164 said un autre uh, his name de is la Hing Red. he was the acting chairman of company 4 il était uh, battalion à la compagnie 4 bataillon um, in his uh, WRI, his president, that is E319-23.3, question and answer uh, 75, um, he said the following. Um, he, he's talking about um, boats, Vietnamese boats, uh, with refugees, and he said, and I quote, uh, Son, Sen Son Sen said if those Vietnamese were refugees to si Thailand, we should not arrest them and we should let them travel on. End of quote. Uh, do you remember uh, an instruction from Vous Son Sen to Division 164 Son Sen à that de la Vietnamese refugees selon uh, were Vietnamiens not to be arrested and that they should uh, be allowed to travel on? Mais qu'on devait leur permettre de poursuivre leur voyage. Answer. Réponse. It was the instructions issues to the division then those instructions were from the upper echelon I was tasked with uh, training giving uh, technical trainings I received uh, no orders or instruction of uh, this particular issue and how to deal with uh, this issue in fact, I was there and I received the training, not a provided a training. Uh, that training was assisted so technically by uh, China. Um, I understand, but was it indeed Sun Sen's explicit instruction that once it was clear that the Vietnamese people in those boats were uh, not military? But refugees or fishermen, uh, they would be allowed um, Alors, to move ils on to where continuer they were going. Et de poursuivre leur voyage en direction de l'endroit vers lequel ils se rendaient. President, please hold on. A witness, you have the floor now. International deputy corporal Oui, je, je vérifiais, M. le Président, euh, ce document E319-23.3.12. E e e Donc, il procès-verbal, nous avons communiqué au parti en juin 2015. Et je ne crois pas que la défense de ce document 
is asking that this document be placed before the chamber as a an evidentiary material, unless the defense says the contrary. We haven't done so. I don't believe this document has already been admitted into evidence as an evidentiary material. So may I request the defense counsel to clarify the matter, perhaps? Um. Oui, Monsieur le Président, je me permets de prendre Mr. la parole President, parce que c'est... Il me semble de mémoire que ça fait partie des documents euh, dont nous avions demandé le versement en preuve un petit peu euh, en fin d'année. Et euh, il me semble que la Chambre a accordé le versement en preuve puisque personne ne s'était opposé. Donc je ne sais pas si c'est une décision, je ne me rappelle plus si c'est une décision orale, mais en tout cas je sais que c'est la défense de Kiosampan qui, qui a demandé le versement en preuve de ces documents et que ça a été accordé. C'était la défense de Kiosampan team. Or rather, it was Kiyo Sampan's team that requested that that document be tendered into evidence, and it was done so. Peut-être pour assister la Chambre, j'ai retrouvé le, le numéro de la requête. C'était uh, plutôt la date de la décision, c'était le 5 janvier 2016. Um, uh, et le procès verbal uh, d'audience, c'est E1-370.1, c'était à 9h12. Où, vous avez rendu la, où la Chambre a rendu la décision. E3 was 61 slash 370.1. That's the President, so it is now clear for everyone and it can be used as the basis for the examination. Copper, you may resume your questioning. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, Again, I will, I will um, repeat my question, Mr. Witness. Do you know whether there was an instruction from Son Sen to Division 164 um, instructing the cadres uh, not to touch refugees, uh, Vietnamese refugees, when they um, would be crossing the territorial sea? In other words, not to arrest them and to let them travel on? C'est-à-dire que on devait les laisser poursuivre leur voyage. Answer based on this witness. It is true. I was a cadre in charge of ships. However, I uh, was not responsible for the arrangement of the traveling of foreigners uh, crossing the territorial sea of Cambodia. I was a part of the training. Regarding the instructions and orders, they were under the command and responsibility of uh, those who were stationed on respective uh, islands. That may have been the case. For me, I never received instructions and orders, as you said. Um, thank you, Mr. Witness. Um, is it correct that once it had been established, um, that the people on board were Vietnamese soldiers, that they then would be arrested? Alors, ces personnes devaient être arrêtées. 
answer based on my uh, documents or my statements I, that I have provided. On one particular occasion, on that day, which uh, I cannot tell you the exact dates and month and year, on that day, while I uh, was receiving uh, training and I was on uh, the journey to the new and old island and also Koh Tang or Tang Island, I encountered and met one Klang ethnicity person and one Vietnamese on Tang Island. At that time, I did not ask them who they were. What I asked was the question to the soldier stationed on Tang Island, and I asked uh, those soldiers where they were from, and I was uh, told that uh, they were Vietnamese, said uh, the uh, witness. And I was told that uh, they were traveling, crossing uh, the southeastern part of the territorial sea water, and they were arrested uh, uh, last night or the night before. As I said, uh, my responsibility was to be engaged in the training. And on that day, I uh, learned in summary about uh, the capture of the two uh, people. So I never poked into the business the uh, under business their responsibility. Um, I understand. Um, uh, let me move on um, to something that is uh, very closely related to this. Uh, in your WRI, uh, you were asked questions about um, internal and external enemies of Democratic Kampuchea. Um, I will get back to that um, shortly, but let me read to you uh, another excerpt from uh, the same uh, Commander Heng Ritz's statement or WRI. Um, it's the same uh, document as before, Mr. President, E319-23.3.12. In question and answer, um, uh, 70, uh, he says the following. Um, the question, you said there were two kinds of enemies internal and the external. Do you think the Vietnamese fishermen were regarded as the external enemy and were taken to be killed? Answer. I do not think so. The external enemy referred to the Vietnamese soldiers along the border. Regarding the seizures of the Vietnamese boats, to my knowledge, the Vietnamese fishermen were not regarded as the external enemy, but they had violated the territorial waters of democratic Kampuchea. Um, Mr. Witness, um, is that correct what um, Ingrid is saying that um, fishermen um, and most likely refugees were not regarded as the external enemy, but that was only something applicable to uh, Vietnamese military. Answer. Regarding hearing rates, testimonies or statements. These statements were true. The, the uh, conflict of uh, borders between Vietnam and Cambodia between 1975 and 1977 was, was the hot matter. And during the time, the Vietnamese uh, refugees uh, were traveling, passing uh, Cambodian territorial seawater. They were not considered uh, the enemies uh, of the democratic Kampuchea. Two targeted groups 
our people were considered uh, enemies of the democratic country. One was the Vietnamese troops who were trying to attack and capture the territory sea of Cambodia, including the island. And as for the internal enemies, uh, they were those who instilled uh, the contradiction within Kampuchea. And they were those who tried to initiate the issue within Kampuchea. Thank you, Mr. Witness. I will, I will get back to the internal enemies shortly. Um, let me just um, read to you one very small excerpt um, of another witness that is about um, the chronology, the years. Um, the president that is um, the testimony of um, a Division I West Plutôt, Zone uh, Deputy Commander. Un commandant adjoint des divisions de la zone ouest qui uh, peut-être déposé, c'est pourquoi je ne peux pas donner son nom. E319/23.3.3 in the question and answer 24, uh, Mr. Witness, this witness is the vision one the West Zone Commander says, and I quote, um, uh, during 19... Sorry, from 1975 to 76, uh, these instructions were the general instructions. And our country, they instructed us not to seek trouble with Vietnam because our country was small um, and Vietnam was a large country. Était un grand pays. Uh, end of quote. Fin de is it correct what this witness is saying that the instruction was not to seek any trouble with Vietnam in the years 1975 and 1976? Answer based on this witness. It is his own statement. I do not know how to react. I agree that usually a small country had no ambition or had no power to attack and capture the bigger country. It is my understanding and my own uh, idea that I agree with what he said. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Witness. Um, One small question in relation to the Vietnamese uh, military or soldiers who violated um, the territorial borders and were arrested. Uh, you said um, in your WRI and your DC camp statement that they were sent to Phnom Penh uh, to be interrogated. Is that correct? Uh, if there is uh, what I have stated in my uh, previous statement, then uh, that is correct. Dans ma déclaration, c'est exact. Whatever I stated in my interview is based on the fact of our communication via uh, radio. It could be a short wave uh, radio, and uh, another Dans communication is the uh, line, the telephone line. In order to receive information, and it's ainsi que nous recevions de l'information. However, I personally did not witness the transactions of how those Mais people were uh, sent. Uh, je n'ai pas été témoin de cet échange time, quand ces personnes ont été envoyées. Question. Mais à l'époque, saviez-vous s'il s'agissait de S21 ou S21 est-ce une institution dont vous avez entendu parler après l'année 79? Uh, uh, on the issue of S21, I simply knew that 
its purpose was to really Tout educate ce que je savais, était those que l'objectif des 21 était d'éduquer who, whose living condition was not uh, in line with the uh, standards dont le mode de vie n'était pas conforme à not follow la the situations à savoir ceux qui and that's what I knew that the office was established to voilà ce que je savais, on the educate countries or to resolve the other matters within the concerned units. Ou pour résoudre des I have some more questions, questions on this, on but I will move on. Um, Mr. Witness, um, in your testimony before the investigators, um, D'après ce que vous avez dit aux enquêteurs, to, um, vous, dire, vous avez fait référence the, à deux uh, types d'ennemis. Les ennemis de l'extérieur et ceux de l'intérieur. Est-il uh, exact de Democratic dire Democratic que Democratic le premier type d'ennemi, le premier ennemi du Cambodge démocratique était le Vietnam et que le deuxième ennemi était les ennemis internes C'est ce que j'ai dit. Um, in that same answer, that is Toujours dans answer 75 même réponse, of your, um, réponse WRI, uh, you audition. refer to um, study sessions Vous or education sessions uh, organized by the general staff in Phnom Penh, uh, chaired by Son Sen. Par uh, Son Sen. Uh, uh, Sen. Uh, what do you remember about those um, education sessions um, chaired by Son de Sen, and what vous exactly vous au sujet de ces what séances was said by him in relation to the Sen. external enemy of Vietnam, dit au sujet de and the internal de enemies? Le et les to my recollection, the policy Réponse, is that time was about the uh, current situation Politique of the sovereignty of uh, Kampuchea, in particular in the situation along the border. Kampuchea, notamment, son son intégrité territoriale and that there was uh, no independence or peace uh, along the uh, border due to the de paix sur sporadic les disruptions of uh, fighting along the Khmer Kampuchea, the, the Khmer and Vietnam border. Le long de la entre For that reason, the uh, policy at the time was that those enemies voilà la of Cambodia were in two categories. categories. One was Vietnam, and the second category la was the internal enemy. The Vietnam, and the second category was the enemy internal. Um, question. Let me ask you a very concrete question. Je vous pose une question. Um, the second in command Très of Division concrète. 164, le uh, Dim, numéro two, commander Dim, was Division 164, he, le commandant Dim. Um, an internal enemy? Était-il un ennemi de l'intérieur? From what Réponse. I knew uh, about them, I personally cannot say whether he was considered an internal enemy. After the division was organized, his role was also in the leadership of that division. I knew him in late 75, for the full year of 76, and he disappeared in 1977. For that reason, I am not in a position to confirm whether he was uh, alleged an internal enemy, but I stated in my previous interview that he disappeared, and I did not see him since. Um, so let, let me see if I can jog your memory with some more um, um, evidence avec, uh, as to what um, the internal and external enemies were. Um, um, I would like to read again to you an excerpt from the um, same ce company même, commander of Division 164, uh, Ying Red, uh, question and answer uh, 49, uh, and, 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 and I, I would like to ask your reaction to what he uh, stated to the investigators. Um, question, according to um, 
the revolutionary flags and revolutionary youth, the two main intentions of democratic revolutionnaire to fight internal enemies and to fight external enemies. Can you clarify these points? And then uh, he says the following, and I quote. Internal enemies refer to those embedded inside the ranks of the party. They talked about the history of the Communist Party of Kampuchea, the establishment of the Khmer Workers Party, led by Sung Nok Min, and the hundreds of Cambodian children sent to study in the Cambodian Vietnam. Internal enemies also meant that we had to struggle ideologically um, with the proletarian class, uh, and smash the rich class based on the poor class. La class riche External la de enemies refer to the Vietnamese. Les ennemis de l'extérieur faisaient référence aux Vietnamiens. Les stratégies vietnamiennes depuis l'époque de Ho Chi Minh visaient à créer une fédération indochinoise et qui comprendrait trois pays, le Vietnam, le Laos et le Cambodge, sous le contrôle du Vietnam. Mr. Witness, is this something that you heard as well? Monsieur, um, the maybe by uh, maybe from Son Sen during one of those Sen education sessions, or uh, maybe you read it in a revolutionary flag, or maybe you heard it in a different manner. Is this something that sounds familiar to you? 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 From the statement of the account by Ying Rei, which is of course his personal account of what happened, the policy at the time was that the Communist Party of Cambodia was to build the stance of each country to be part of the proletarian class. De tous les cadres pour les encourager à faire partie de la classe prolétaire. With the ultimate aim to build a country. L'objectif ultime étant de construire un pays. To be to to install the poor peasants class in the leading position of the country. À la tête du pays, la classe so des pauvres. So his account is in line with the donc, policy and the line at the time. Correspond à la politique et la ligne so what he said is something that you Question. heard as well. Donc ce qu'il dit, vous l'avez entendu. Things about the Khmer Rouge Party or the Khmer Labour Party. Vous vous souvenez d'avoir entendu parler du parti des travailleurs du Khmer Rouge Party in the Chinese Federation. Et de la fédération indochinoise. J'ai bien compris. Réponse. That is correct. Oui, c'est exact. Because after the 1954 Geneva Convention, Ho Chi Minh had an idea of the three countries, Vietnam, Cambodia, and Laos, into one Indo-China Federation, led by. Ho Chi Minh himself. Ho Chi Minh lui-même. So that statement is correct. Ce qu'il dit est donc vrai. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Witness. Let me move on to something, another division. Vous citez la déclaration de l'autre investigateur de DC Cam. De l'autre personne de la division. His name is Nam Lam. I'm referring, Mr. President, to document E319-23.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3
Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. Une President. Uh, a short observation. Nous n'avons pas trouvé ce document dans la liste des documents qui ont été acceptés par la Chambre et qui ont fait l'objet d'une requête 874. Uh, that, uh, fall under le document E3.19-23.1 est un document relatif à ce dossier. Tous les documents relatifs à ce dossier ne sont pas acceptés ni proposé ni accepté par la chambre donc je vous demande de faire by, une or admitted sur ce by the chamber so pour nous, simply like you to verify the status of this document because as far as we're concerned que la de, la we cannot use this document unless the defense requests it in a clear way sur and de ce that all parties may react to this request I'm not sure why it's a concern of the civil parties, but uh, it, it might be possible, Mr. President, that uh, because il est possible, of the Président, change deadline, cause des changements de date butoir, nous avons oublié de verser ce document interface. That is possible. I just received a message. So by this request, um, to Donc, uh, nevertheless read an, uh, one or two extracts from the Cambodian 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 Cambodian
Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je Thank you, Mr. President. Nous, I think nous, that nous nous that nous we, in principle, we have never formally objected défense. to the use of a document by the defense teams. We understand perfectly uh, everyone's working tempo. Uh, everyone respects the rules, including the Que Sans defense. All that was necessary was an email. All that was necessary was asking us before, instead of using documents that are not that do not fall under 87.4 requests. It's a question of method only because it takes an enormous amount of time for the parties to check these lists. So simply, it should be a minimum amount of courtesy. That's how I should call it. And simply ask for the authorization beforehand. Otherwise, what's the point of the interface? What's the point of an adversarial debate uh, if uh, everyone can use documents without everyone being aware of this? However, we will rely on the Chamber's wisdom in that regard. And what about the defense team for Kiev and Pong? Do you wish to make any observation regarding the request by Council Copper for that document? I have no specific Monsieur comments to make, Mr. President, uh, uh, given that uh, my colleague wishes to use a document that he considers uh, to be uh, exculpatory, and on that basis, point, uh, I won't make any specific comments. I'd like to remind you that it is sometimes an issue when we don't have the time to anticipate enough uh, and prepare for our examinations and that things are left aside. I heard the observations of the co-prosecutor. If I'm not mistaken, we have experienced uh, such problems several times before this chamber, documents uh, that uh, had not followed under an 87.4 request, and this has happened on the other side of the bar, simply like to remind you that uh, we are very sensitive to these uh, requests, and, uh, and he, so we do not object that this document be used because it's in the context of uh, a cross-examination based on exculpatory evidence. Judge Lavergne, do you have the floor? La parole est au juge Lavergne. Oui. Yes. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Demande de clarification. A simple request for clarification for the Nguyen Chair Defence. I note that the document in question is an interview conducted by DC Cam. And um, are there other documents related to the same person? Was the same person interviewed by the OCIJ, for example? Uh, yes, I believe two times. Que oui, um, deux fois, respectively, document E319, E319 23, 23, 23, 3.17, and E319 23, 18. Et est-ce que ces procès verbaux fait l'objet d'une demande également pour que WRIs au débat subject of an 87.4 request have they been uh, tendered for that um, uh, no judge Levin, no. the answer is uh, no the thing is um, mais it's all very last moment. En fait, voilà, it's, it's, we're dealing with a, minute, a whole new segment which wasn't investigated in the closing order at all or pas fait investigation. So instruction we were et qui pas couvert plus tôt uh, dans la de clôture. Uh, but it is really not C'est un peu tard, nous sommes d'accord. Mais ce n'est pas de mauvaise foi. Euh, en fait, c'est que nous l'avons découvert après uh, la date du Et nous allons présenter notre règle 87 notre requête en 87 Mais maintenant, comme c'est tout à fait pertinent, nous voulons nous en servir avec le témoin qui est à la barre. Until you put it on the interface, which is a good thing, vous, because vous people were at least on notice, but la, you didn't check if, avisé, if, it, if, it, if it had gone through an 87 for Is this the situation? the situation. Maître Copé, oui, en effet, c'est voilà, c'est ça.
Le président. The chamber rejects the request by the Defense Council Council Copper in relation to document A319 slash 23.3.17.1 at this juncture of time as the council fails to comply it with rule 87.4 procedures. Car la défense n'a pas suivi les règles de versement en preuve en application de la règle 87.4. And the chamber would like to remind all the parties that all parties must follow Rule 87.4 procedures, and you need to make such submissions before you use them to question witnesses. And from what we just have a look at this document, this document runs into several pages. And of course, uh, for that reason, uh, Council Copper is advised to uh, not use this document and refer to other documents when questioning this witness. Um, I fail to understand your ruling, uh, Mr. President. Um, can I just add something very short? I know you need the time, but one decisive factor in the ruling was also that we basically have to deal with all related documents at the same time and that runs to from what I hear 60 pages, which makes it difficult to decide on the spur of the moment. Il faut décider des documents, et comme il y en a 60 pages, c'est un peu difficile de pouvoir apprécier la valeur des documents. Oui, cela étant dit, Monsieur le Président, j'aimerais demander que l'on accorde un peu plus de temps à la défense pour l'interrogatoire du témoin. Il est presque 11h30. En théorie, nous avons utilisé des deux séances, mais nous avons besoin d'un peu plus de temps avec ce témoin. Le Président. Et de combien de temps avez-vous besoin and you need also to consult aussi demander with the defense team for Kyosampon for your combined time car vous so that uh, we temps will be able to équipes. rule on your Et request. Donc de nous prononcer sur votre demande. Pour la défense de Kyosampon, well, as far as we are concerned, I can priori, say that a priori we will need a half an hour to cross-examine the witness given the fact that a certain number of topics un, that we were considering uh, were already covered uh, uh, by, uh, by, uh, my colleague from the Nunchia team. And uh, if uh, these issues were going to be discussed later on, I don't know how many extra minutes my colleague needs for that, but it's obvious that if the issues he intends to discuss in the minutes given to him will reduce uh, the time that we need. But as of now, a priori speaking, we need a half an hour. Um, may I, in the light of uh, these submissions, request that the defense grant it uh, one full session? One additional full session? One session complete? Le président. Deputy co-prosecutor, you have the floor. Adjoint international, vous avez la parole. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. En principe, nous ne nous opposons pas à une prolongation du temps donnée à la défense, étant donné la richesse du témoignage de Monsieur. The rich. Ceci dit, nous demanderions que nous puissions bénéficier de la même prolongation de notre côté parce que nous avons également le de couvrir et beaucoup de sujets sur lesquels nous voulons revenir plus précisément avec ce témoin. Bien entendu, si la défense hier avait été un peu plus rapide, dans son interrogatoire, sur la prise de la peine, etc., nous n'en serions peut-être pas là, mais ce n'est pas la question qui se pose maintenant. Capture of Phnom Penh, but we do not object for the time being, but we request that the defense or the prosecution be given the same extension of time as the defense may be given.
President, the bench decides to grant one session for each side of the bar, that is one session for the defense teams, that is for the first session this afternoon, and for the co-prosecutors and the uh, lead co-lawyers, an additional session is also granted. However, it is now appropriate for our lunch break to take a break now and uh, resume at 1.30 this afternoon to continue our proceedings. Court officer, please assist the witness at the waiting room reserved for witnesses and civil parties during the lunch break and invite him as well as the duty council back into the courtroom at 1.30. Security personnel, you are selected to take you some point to the waiting room downstairs and have him returned to attend the proceedings this afternoon before 1.30. The court is now in recess.